Hi, I'm Tiffany Young for IDA TV, and I'm here with Lynn, and she's the granddaughter of Bela Lugosi, who was Dracula. Yes, yes. Yes, thank yes. you for, for visiting. Yes. yes, thank you for talking to us. Now, um, your grandfather unfortunately passed away before you were born, yes. but what was your first, um, when did you know about your grandfather? Well, you know, just growing up, there was a lot of pictures around the house of him, so he was just my grandfather. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I really wasn't aware of his iconic stature mm -hmm. in the world until I was in elementary school and I went to the library and I checked out a book and it was a Universal Monsters series and that was on Dracula. And I remember saying, oh my gosh, my, he's in a book, you know, telling my parents, did you know uh -huh. <laughs> he was in a book? Uh, what did and they say? Was, oh, I don't really remember. Right. I just remember that was my first recognition that mm -hmm. he was someone outside of our family. Mm -hmm. And then of course, having the name Lugosi growing up, there was always people asking about it and, you know, co always complimentary. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Fast forward to now, um, what's it like running this, the brand, the Lugosi brand? Well, it's an honor. I mean, the mission of Lugosi Enterprises that my dad has been, you know, working on his whole life is to preserve the memory of my grandfather and extend his legacy into the future and energy by, you know, being here at the licensing show and, and um, having licensed products. We're really, the, the next generation is getting to know him all over again. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. And what kind of products do can people get licensed? Well, we we have a very wide variety. I mean, the the brand, which it has become a brand, is really crosses all kinds of generations. So, we have a had a beautiful wine. We do a beer, and then we of course do T-shirts, other kind of accessories, collectible figures, statues. Really, a lot of a lot of different products. I was yeah. telling your husband, uh, somebody at my boxing gym has a, uh, a Dracula mouth guard. Really? <laughs> How fun! <laughs> yeah, so it could yeah. really be anything. Yeah, yeah, it really is. I mean, um, not only does he represent classic Hollywood, you know, and all the elegance that that embodies, but he's an icon for Dracula. You know, he created that portrayal, and uh, every actor after that him has really mimicked that original portrayal in some way, right? Yeah. He's, he yeah. is Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody yeah. ever tell you that uh, you have a resemblance and I see it in the eyes? Oh, really? Uh, maybe sometimes with the eyes, but you know, I'm a, I think I'm a good mix of my mom and dad. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was his, his, he had very striking eyes. Yes. I mean, you can see in that picture in particular. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. He really did. And, and a lot of people don't realize his eyes were blue. So, you know, in, they in they were green. right, so in, in artistic interpretation, sometimes, no, they usually think they're dark, like dark brown, oh. or they'll put them black, or sometimes red, but they, blue is not something that they usually right. first think of him as. Right. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, just, uh, you know, we, we are just happy to be here. We're happy that um, people are recognizing Bela Lugosi and his iconic portrayal, and that we hope that every, all the generations coming up will remember him. Yeah. That's wonderful. It's a wonderful connection that you have with your grandfather. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you Thank for talking you. to us. Thank you. Tiffany Young for ID8 TV.